I loved Subway because of its fresh ingredients. Moreover, it was the perfect way to have a hearty meal if I didn't have time to cook dinner at home. So on one particular night, I decided to drop by a place I called Heaven and was disturbed at the sight of a man glued to his phone, snickering while he was on the job. His eyes often twitched like he had BEB or some other neurological disorder causing involuntary muscle spasms. And although it was just a hunch, something about the way he smiled made me think he was up to no good. Every now and then, he would giggle under his breath like a maniac, while his eyes remained fixated on me. And speaking of his eyes, they were round and strained with dark circles surrounding the contours, <gasps> making me think he was either under the influence of some kind of substance or suffering from over-fatigue. What a creep, I thought to myself, since there was nothing funny for him to laugh about. So, I struggled between sympathy and perturbation, wondering if I should go out and look for another subway branch instead. But it was already far into the night, and the next subway was a few miles from here, which would make it impossible for me to reach it if I had to walk on foot. I was certain this was a new guy, because I'd been here many times before and acquainted myself with all the staff, including the manager. So, despite my slight agitation, I approached the counter and attempted to break the ice to make myself feel comfortable. Hey man, how's your day so far? He didn't say a word. The only thing I noticed was that this guy couldn't stop giggling like a constant ringtone that ruined my auditory experience. Then, out of the blue, he asked, You want a foot long, daddy? I didn't know if that was some kind of slang or not, but I didn't like the way he said it. So, I frowned at him, but noticed that he was actually pleased by this. Moments later, he said, What would you like in that footlong, Daddy? We got tomatoes, onions, spinach, peppers, and my favorite Burger King foot lettuce. Or should I say Subway foot lettuce? <laughs> Annoyed, I replied, I'm here for turkey and tuna, and make it quick. You hear me? My blood boiling. I clenched my fist as I used every fiber of my being to restrain myself. I heard my voice reverberate, filling the empty corners of the restaurant. That's when I realized that I was all alone with this creep, imagining the worst case scenario where he might be capable of slashing someone's throat when provoked. So, I relaxed my shoulders and attempted to regain composure. I then apologized for raising my tone, to which he gave the most unusual reply. First, he stretched a baleful grin and <laughs> laughed like a mentally incapacitated person. Then, with lightning speed, the creep organized the condiments. His eyes glued to me the entire time. Moments later, he said, Here's your order, sir. One foot long at your disposal, daddy. Stop calling me that! I'm not your daddy! I replied, determined to leave the restaurant. I looked at the sub he gave me, but having lost my appetite, I crumpled the cash and threw it on the counter, showing him that I wasn't okay with his bizarre attitude. Then, my heart sank as I peeked through the windows. Outside, I could already hear thunderstorms nearby, giving me some anxiety. No, oh, please no, I told myself thinking of the inevitable. Then, just when I was about to exit, heavy bags of water poured down, covering the area in torrential rain and strong winds. Unfortunately, it didn't seem like it would let up anytime soon, and since I lived 15 blocks away from Subway, I couldn't risk getting myself soaked because that would mean losing my beloved sandwich. My indignation swelling, I instantly regretted leaving my car at home. The weather forecast didn't mention anything about heavy rains, so I thought it would be the perfect time to take a stroll and have some exercise. Plus, it felt good to be able to save on gasoline. However, clearly, I was wrong. Moments later, the staff member still behind the counter chortled, glancing in my direction. Then he said, It looks like you have no other option but to stay here and eat that footlong. After all, you wouldn't want the sub to get soggy, would you now, Daddy? At first, I thought I could book an Uber car. However, based on experience, it was immensely arduous to get a hold of one under these dreadful weather conditions. So, after a while, the creep spoke again. Come on, don't be shy. Take a seat and enjoy your sandwich. We've got plenty of empty chairs for you to choose from. The only thing I could cling to at the moment was patience, and so, averting my gaze, I picked a seat next to the window. Then, listening to the constant downpour outside, I decided to open up the wrapper and dig into my sub. 
As soon as I took my first bite, I noticed the man <laughs> stifle a laugh, and in his hand he held a cell phone directed toward me. I couldn't tell if he was taking a photo or a video of me, but either way, there was nothing normal about it. I wanted to enjoy <laughs> eating my sandwich since it was the only good thing I had at the moment, so I did my best to turn a blind eye and focus all my attention on my delightful sub. Then, unable to contain his excitement, the creep suddenly burst into laughter, and from that point on, I had lost it entirely. I put down the sub, and with my mouth still full, I yelled, Why in the hell are you laughing, you creep? It took a while for him to gather himself. Then, moments later, nearly choking on his saliva, he said, Man, <laughs> you're the best! And the funny thing is, is you don't even know it! <laughs> Unable to restrain my anger any further, I went straight to the counter and confronted the guy, saying, Are you trying to pick a fight with me, dude? Leave me the hell alone or I'll beat the crap out of you! Then, without a tinge of reluctance, he leaped over the counter and sauntered towards me, saying, Are you sure about that? I could do far worse if you don't watch your mouth, daddy. Threatened, I took my sub and ran out of the restaurant, hoping the creep didn't follow me. Then, as I arrived home, I sat on the couch, and while munching on my sub, I browsed some TikTok videos on my phone. I encountered a couple of weird dance videos here and there, but none of them were as frightening as this TikToker who posted videos of him stepping on the restaurant's condiments with his dirty shoes and partially drinking Gatorade from the fridge and putting it back afterwards. But the most vexing of them all was his video of aligning condiments along the sides of an unflushed toilet, wet with urine and other substances. I gasped in horror as he smiled proudly, taking a video of himself with the ingredients in the background. And what made it even worse was that it was the same guy from the subway. I couldn't help but gag putting away my phone. Then I threw away the remaining sandwich I had brought home. A few days later, I saw the creep on the news, and it said that he had already been fired. Unfortunately, the subway he worked for closed down because of him, and I had to veer away from the restaurant, trying to forget that creep. <laughs> what? Well, I'm in prison, the fuck?